Shri Guru Vaishnava Padma Kuriyasa Shri 
Hare Krishna, good afternoon everyone. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Sim Dobredin. Sim Dobredin. Sim Kaktila. How are you? Suhara Shao. Everything is great. Kefalik. How are you? Tamam. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had another fantastic day in Vrindavan. It's uh, Sunday the 3rd of May. It's about the 10 millionth day of the lockdown. And uh, this afternoon at about 12.30, we started having a thunderstorm. And uh, this is quite phenomenal for Vrindavan at this time of the year. No dust storm coming before. No crazy wind blowing filling your house up with dust. Just the rolling of the thunder. If you listen now, you can hear it. I don't, I, I'm not seeing, I, I can't see what's going on on the screen, but we'll be quiet for a moment and you can just see if you can hear the thunder. Я не знаю, что там на экране, но мы сейчас помолчим минутку, чтобы вы могли послушать. It's just consistently rolling out there. Он постоянно ракочет там. And about uh, 12.30 it started raining. И где-то в 12.30 начался дождь. And we had a, a very nice rain for about 45 minutes. And it's been completely overcast and dark and cloudy all afternoon. Quite phenomenal weather for this time of the year. It's just, you can hear the constant rolling thunder. So it's so beautiful. And when the first rolling of the thunder began, the peacock started screaming. And it sounded like they were just back here in Raman Reti again. Yeah. Unprecedented, it's so wonderful. Wish that you could all be here. You hear? It's amazing. Okay. So we'll continue reading Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat. And uh, it will be a little bit of a short class today because uh, we're supposed to finish at 5 and then at 5.30 I have a class for the devotees of St. Petersburg. So we should have a little breathing space in between. Let's offer our obeisances to Srila Prabhupada and Srila Bhakti Siddhanta. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthai Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swaminti Namane 
Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Vicharane Nirvasisha Sunyavadi Paschacharya Zitarane Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Iti Namane Vanchakopa Drubhyascha Kripasindu Bevicha Patitananta Vanivyo Vaishnavivyo Anamonama Ananda Lilamaya Vigrahaya Hima Bidavaj Vishundaraya Tasmai Mahaprema Rasapradaya Chaitanya Chandraya Namonamaste Nitinandam Ham Nomi Sarvananda Karamparam Hadinam Pradam Devam Avaduta Shiromanim Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhupada Shri Vaiti Gadara Shri Vasudhi Gaur Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Something just came to mind that I haven't thought of for a long time a short story that I could share with you только что мне пришло на ум что-то, о чем я давно уже не вспоминал, короткая история, которую хотел бы с вами поделиться. And it's connected to thunderstorms. Она связана с грозами. When I was young and started looking to the east for spiritual understanding, I would read different yoga philosophy books they were essentially based on Advaita Vedantic philosophy. So with our immature mind and intelligence, we could grasp just a little bit. И своим незрелым умом и разумом я смог понять оттуда совсем немного. And the part that it seemed everybody was taking up at that time is that uh, God is an absolute energy. И одна часть этой философии, которую в те времена все принимали и все были на этой волне, что Господь это некая абсолютная энергия. And it is all one. И, uh, and everything is comprised of that absolute energy. So the mistaken consequence of our understanding is that we were God. And it was quite a you know, foolish conclusion to come to. Because we were so foolish. And we did so many foolish things. And certainly God doesn't do foolish things. But it was only like the beginning understanding of just the smallest part of a bigger understanding. But in our circle of friends, we would always say, you and I are one. You and I are the same spirit. I am God, and you are God, and we are God together. And uh, yeah, we were, and we were happily living in our illusion. Then I had an interesting experience in about May of 1971. Um, I took some work along with my friend David 
at a camp outside of Nashville, Tennessee that we had attended when we were kids. Я и мой друг Дэвид. 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 Мы устроились на работу в лагерь, в котором в округе Nashville, Tennessee, в который мы в этот лагерь ездили, когда были ещё детьми. It was the uh, it was the camp. It was it was our confessions camp, summer camp. Confessions. It was our it was our church's summer camp. Ага, uh, это был церковный летний лагерь. And because we had both grown up going there, then we applied for work there to help set the camp up for their summer retreats. И поскольку мы оба ездили в этот лагерь, то потом мы предложили свои услуги, чтобы помочь подготовить этот лагерь к летним заездам. And uh, David and I, we lived in a very old cabin. Мы с Дэвидом жили в очень древнем uh, домике. I think at that time that cabin was about 150 years old. Я думаю, что на тот момент этому домику было примерно 150 лет. And it was just one room on one side and one room on the other side and a wooden room on one side, wooden room on the other side and a uh, veranda in between. И это была одна деревянная комната с одной стороны, одна деревянная комната с другой стороны и между ними веранда. And it was thick in the forest area outside of Nashville. So one day it was really, really hot. It was like unusually hot. And uh, then in the afternoon a storm started to blow in. И во второй половине дня начал проявляться шторм. Was your typical scene. И это была типичная сцена. The wind started blowing. Начинает дуть ветер. Temperature started going down. Температура опускается. Birds started flying in crazy ways. А птицы начинают летать странно. And then a lot of thunder and lightning coming. И потом uh, появляется гром и молния. And so David and I, we sat on the veranda, and we said, "Let's not move till this is complete." So we just sat there for about four hours. Like we were in meditation. Looking at this wild, wild storm. And there was so much lightning and like heavy wind. And torrents of rain. And the afternoon passed. And the evening came. And the storm kept roaring. And David and I just sat there. Мы с Дэвидом просто сидели. Trying to be mindful of everything. Пытались быть сознающими всё. And then finally, the storm, it blew away. И в конце концов шторм ушёл. And uh, the evening sky was so beautiful and clear. И вечернее небо, оно было очень красивое и ясное. So many stars. Множество звёзд. And everything became so peaceful. Всё стало очень умиротворённо. And so after about three or four hours, it was a long time, and we, did, and we weren't talking. When everything was done, I turned and I looked at my friend David. And I said, David, I have a question for you. And he said, yes, what is your question? Да, какой вопрос? I said, did you just make that storm happen? Это ты сделал эту бурю? And he was silent. Он молчал. And I was patient. А я терпеливо ждал. And then after a few minutes he sort of went, no, I didn't make that happen. 
И спустя минуту или две он так сглотнул и говорит, нет, это не я. And I sort of smiled a little bit. Я немного слегка улыбнулся. And he said, I have a question for you. Он говорит, у меня к тебе тоже вопрос. And I said, tell me. Я говорю, рассказывай. He said, did you just make it happen? Это, а это ты сделал этот шторм? I went, no, I didn't. And then we both got big smiles on our face. We said, well, I guess that means we're not God. So, by nature, we had a good realization. Okay, let's read. Text number 73. Seeing the entire world illusioned by the Lord's external energy in this way, all the devotees felt unlimited distress. So people were getting monkeys married. Students were arguing with their teachers. People were spending lakhs of rupees on their daughters' weddings. People would speak on Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam and never speak about Krishna. Everybody was so absorbed in sense gratification. The devotees started feeling distress. The devotees of the Lord became extremely unhappy seeing the activities of so-called scholars and persons maddened with the materialistic way of life. On seeing persons who under the influence of Vishnu's illusory energy proudly consider themselves great, the devotees exhibited distress for the benefit of such persons. If proud scholars are openly checked from sinful endeavors, then on the strength of their misguided intelligence, they may attack the devotees who are bestowing their mercy. Если гордливые ученые а, открыто прекратили свои греховные потуги, тогда с помощью а, своего сбитого с толку разума они а, могли начать нападать на преданных, которые проявляют свою милость со страданием. Such attacks may then hinder their endeavors for spiritual advancement. Такие нападки могут э, в будущем э, замедлить их усилия в духовном продвижении. Did you get it? With this thought in mind, the pure devotees who are paradukha dukhi, unhappy for others' unhappiness, had no alternative other than to display distress on seeing the living entity's aversion to Lord Hari. С такими мыслями на уме чистые преданные, которые являются парадукха духи, несчастные из-за страданий других, у них не было никаких альтернатив, кроме как проявлять беспокойство, видя живые враждебные живые существа Господа Хари. They knew that those foolish living entities under the influence of false ego are bewildered by the covering and throwing potencies of the illusory energy Vishnu. 
Они знали, что эти глупые живые существа, которые находятся под влиянием ложного эго, сбиты с толку, покрывающие и стягивающие энергиями, э, покрывающие и стягивающие иллюзорными энергиями Вишну. Such people are travelers on the path of death and are in great danger. Такие люди являются странниками на пути смерти, на пути к смерти и находятся в великой опасности. This nicely describes the mood of the Vaishnavas. Здесь очень подробно описывается настроение Вайшнавов. They they understand that uh, that though people may be materially highly developed, they're travelers on the path to death. Uh, несмотря на то, что люди могут быть uh, материально хорошо развиты, тем не менее они являются странниками на пути к смерти. And uh, because danger can befall them at any time, they're in, they're in great trouble. Поскольку опасность может uh, случиться с ними в любое мгновение, они из этого находятся в большом, больших проблемах. This is a real quality of Vaishnavas. That Vaishnavas feel compassion for other people. When Vaishnavas uh, see others unhappy, they become unhappy. And they feel that we have no other duty than to bestow mercy upon them. И они чувствуют, что у них нет никакой другой обязанности, кроме как проливать милость на них. There's one nice uh, verse written by Raghunath Das Goswami. Есть один чудесный стих, на, стих написанный Raghunath Das Goswami. Where he says, Vairagya yug bhakti rasam prayatnaya apai amam anabipsham amdam you give the translation. Uh, it's like I was following the path of uh, Vairagya and Jnana, but Sanatana Goswami in, induced me to follow. Vairagya yud bhakti rasam prayatna payamam manabipshamam dam. Sanatan Goswami was so kind. Он говорит, Санатан Госвами так добр. That he came to give me this uh, delicious nectar of bhakti. Настолько добр, что он пришел, чтобы дать мне этот вкуснейший нектар бхакти. That's gently uh, spiced with the flavors of uh, uh, renunciation, который, renunciation and devotion. Который аккуратно приправлен приправами отречения и преданности. He said, I, but I was not willing to take it. Но я не хотел этого принимать. Because I had fallen into the Andakupam. Потому что я пал в Андакупам. Do you understand Andakupam? Yes. Yeah. Andakupam it means blind well. Andakupam это значит слепой колодец или незаметный колодец. Meaning the well, the unseen well that has no bottom. Это, то есть колодец, который не видно и у него нет дна. Like sometimes when we're walking here in the fields of Braja. In the middle of a vacant field somewhere, we'll just come across a very old well. It's very, very deep. And in the middle of nowhere. And if I were to fall into that well, I could cry and cry and cry for somebody to get me up, but no one would ever hear me. Колодец, кричать, кричать, 
And that's what material life is like. И такова и материальная жизнь. The uh, blind well of material life. Это слепой колодец материальной жизни. And we see that everybody is trying to make some adjustment to get out of that well. И можно видеть, как все пытаются предпринять какие-то действия, чтобы выбраться из этого колодца. But instead of coming out from the well, they're simply sinking deeper into the well. Но вместо того, чтобы выбираться из этого колодца, они все глубже и глубже в него погружаются. So Raghunath Das Goswami, in his humility, he said, I had fallen into that blind well. И Рагунат Дас в своем смирении он говорит, я пал в этот э, слепой колодец. And Sanatan Goswami he came with such a nice message. И Санатан Госвами пришел с чудесным посланием. Бхакти, which is decorated with the spirit of renunciation. А с посланием Бхакти, которое украшено духом отречения. I didn't want it. Но я не хотел этого. But he is Paradukha Dukhi. Но он Paradukha Dukhi. Meaning. He felt distress because he could see the distressful situation that I was in. Это значит, что он испытывал волнение и переживание, видя то бедственное положение, в котором я находился. So he picked me up and he saved me. Так и он поднял меня и спас. Just like Prabhupada picked me up and saved me. Так же как Прабхупада вытащил меня и спас. Just all do. His causeless mercy. Just, Just all due to his causeless mercy. Yes, yeah, so the devotees at the time of Lord Chaitanya they were like that. The devotees thought. How will these people be delivered? The whole world is simply absorbed in material enjoyment. Весь мир просто погружен в материальное наслаждение. And Shri Bhaktisiddhanta writes. Shri Bhaktisiddhanta пишет. How will these people facing danger be eternally benefited? Как эти люди, оказавшиеся в опасности, могут обрести вечное благо? The hearts of those devotees were filled with compassion. Сердца этих преданных были наполнены страданием. They understood that living entities who were averse to the Lord were simply absorbed in sensual happiness. Они понимали, что живые существа, враждебные Господу, были просто погружены в чувственное наслаждение. In other words, people considered material sense gratification as their immediate self-interest and source of enjoyment. Другими словами, люди считали материальное чувственное наслаждение сам как бы непосредственным личным интересом и источником радости. They completely forgot devotional service to the Lord. И они полностью забыли о чистом преданном служении Господу. Now that's the situation in society today also. И таково же положение в обществе и на сегодня. Although by the grace of Srila Prabhupada, the Krishna consciousness society has been growing. Still, the spirit of the world is material sense gratification. means excessively maddened. Pramatta значит совершенно обезумевший. And uh, it's become so maddened that we're in the situation that we're in today. Они настолько обезумели, что мы находимся в том положении, в котором мы сейчас. They're correct. Meaning Meaning we're experiencing the reaction for people's sinful behavior. Yeah, economy is wrecked. The whole world is trying to, you know, whole world is trying to figure out 
how life will go on after COVID-19. Весь мир пытается разобраться, как будет продолжаться жизнь после COVID-19. Because the people of the world have become mad for sense enjoyment. Потому что люди, они с ума сошли по чувственному наслаждению. And the spirit of the devotee is to somehow or other, you know, enlighten as many people as possible. И настроение преданных это так или иначе э, дать просветление как можно большему количеству людей. Just like earlier in this book we read. Так же как ранее в этой книге мы с вами уже читали. Lord Chaitanya told the devotees go and now request everyone just to chant Krishna, study Krishna and worship Krishna. Господь Читания сказал всем преданным, теперь идите и каждому говорите, поклоняйся Кришне, изучай Кришну, воспеваем на Кришне. This is the only medicine to relieve this fire of materialism. Это единственный способ uh, потушить этот огонь материального существования. So the devotees, they were, they were very distressed at the time of Mahaprabhu. То есть преданные находились в большом беспокойстве во времена Mahaprabhu. People will not chant the names of Krishna even if they are instructed. Люди не будут повторять имена Кришны, даже если им об этом скажут. Rather, they glorify their education and their good birth. Вместо этого они будут постоянно прославлять свое образование и достойное рождение. We see this so much among even cultured people. А мы можем видеть это часто даже среди культурных людей. When they just talk about their birth, their caste, their education. Они говорят в основном о своем рождении, о своей касте и о своем образовании. But they're devoid of the spirit of bhakti. Но они лишены духа бхакти. When one of the pure devotees chanted the name of Krishna, the non-devotees would disregard the devotional process of pure devotees or Paramahamsa Vaishnavas by pro proclaiming their own noble birth and exhibiting their prowess and mundane knowledge. Когда, uh, когда один из чистых преданных повторяет имена Кришны, не преданные uh, пренебрегают процессом преданности, которому следуют чистые преданные или вайшнавы парамахамсы, объявляя или возвеличивая свое собственное достойное происхождение и проявляя свое могущество в мирском знании. In this regard, Narottam Das Thakur has sung. В отношении этих людей Narottam Das Thakur one who does not chant the name of Nityananda becomes absorbed in material happiness. Of what benefit is such a person's vidya or so-called academic education? And kula birth in a high family or great nation. Anyone who has no relationship with Nityananda is simply spoiling his human form of life. Such persons are like untamed am animals. Любой, кто не связан с Нитянандой, просто uh, зазря проживает человеческую форму жизни. Такие люди подобны uh, грубым животным. Lord Chaitanya, he traveled in the Jodhikanda forest and he induced wild animals to chant Hare Krishna and dance in ecstasy. Когда Господь Читания проходил через лес Джариканда, он вдохновлял диких животных повторять Хари Кришна и танцевать. We don't have that potency to make tigers and lions dance. У нас нет такого могущества, чтобы заставлять тигров и львов танцевать. But we should give our lives. We're trying to help uh, all living beings chant Hare Krishna and take up the process of Krishna Bhakti. Но нам нужно посвятить своей жизни тому, чтобы 
помогать другим живым существам повторять Харе Кришна и принять процесс преданного служения Кришне. Okay, I'm sorry, this is going to be a short class. We're going to stop here today. We need to have a little breathing space before the next class in St. Petersburg. Everybody stay well. Stay inside. Don't start liberally going outside. Uh, just stay well and, and uh, chant Hare Krishna. Now for those folks who didn't see the deities this morning, we'll show you the deities now. Tomorrow morning, Hare Krishna, and we will, uh, we will see what Akinshana's mood is. If he's up for it, then he'll come over and we'll have Kirtan together. Посмотрим, какое будет настроение у Акинчины. Если все будет хорошо, то он придет завтра утром, а мы еще раз скиржем с Here is the altar today. And here is Giridaj Maharaj. This is Giridaj Maharaj. Shri Madhusudan. Assalamu alaikum, Habibi. Kifalak. Tamam. Wise Habibi Jai Giraj Maharaj Ki Jai. And here a Radha Govinda. Is this Radha Govinda? Jai Jai Shri Radhe. Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Sham And here is Govinda This is Govinda Nice turban today Jai Radha Govinda. And here at Dhanatai, Gaura Chandra. What is Dhanatai Gaura Chandra? Everybody look at Gora and say a prayer. Hey, Shihari Govinda. Jai, Dayan Nittai. Merciful Nittai. Merciful Nittai. Jai Petit Pavan. Shri Panchatatta Ki. Jai. Shad Goswami Ki Jai. Jai Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Now we'll go outside and I'll show you what Vrindavan looks like 
On a thunderstormy day. Сейчас мы пойдем на улицу, я покажу вам, как Бриндан выглядит э, грозный день. So, yes, all white flower garlands made by Omkar Kriti and Brindalata. Today we have our, our gate closed on the porch because one monkey came in earlier and took the cushion from the chair and tried to have it for his lunch. Yes. Yeah, it's very, very humid out here. Now, очень влажно на улице. From Navendam Kijai, and there is Sagar the Great purifying our garden. This big Sagar. Hey Sagar, say hello to everybody in the world. Sagar is the one who keeps everything so beautiful over here. Sagar is the one who keeps everything so beautiful over here. Shri Vrindavan Damaki. You just had a flash of lightning over here. And here is... Giriraj Baba's place. As this Ashram Giriraj Baba. You hear the thunder? Where's the grom? Can you hear the thunder out there? Слышно кому-нибудь гром? Okay, everybody. Thank you very much. Jj, Shri Radhe.